I'm Vivian Guzman, and I love to drink, eat, and be merry. Let's face it, who doesn't? And what better time to do those things than during the holidays? In a few days, I'm going to go home to my family in New York and celebrate Thanksgiving, my favorite time of the year. But right now, I'm in California with my other family, <laughs> some of my closest friends, and I want to share with them this magical experience that I get when I'm back home. making my mother-in-law's famous napkin chicken. Everyone that I've ever made it for, my friends, anyone, they love it. So today, you're gonna know how to do it and you're gonna love it as much as I do. I'm going to put a mixture of dry herbs and I have here um, rosemary, oregano, and I put paprika. That's my own little spin on mama's chicken. And you turn it upside down and you do it on the other side as well. I've lifted the skin of the chicken. I'm gonna put some herbs in there as well. And I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary on top. I have herbs in there, fresh herbs already, and I rub it all over, and I'm going to put it under the skin as well. So I tend to uh, blend my garlic with my onions. I'm adding the olive oil. I'm going to add salt and pepper. I keep my salt in here, and I like to use kosher salt. And I'm liberal about it. <laughs> Whoa, that just came out a little quickly. I'm going to add some pepper. So I'm putting aluminum foil on the chicken. To keep all the moisture in and it'll cook faster because this is an oven stuffer. I'm going to leave it on for an hour and then I'm going to check it at 400 degrees in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven before you put it in. We take the aluminum foil after an hour out and then we put the broiler on low and we leave it in for like a good two minutes or three up until it gets nice and crispy on the outside and it'll be nice and soft on the inside. Your bird, if you have a thermometer and you're finicky and picky and want to make sure that it's ready and you have one of those, should be 165 degrees. The moment we've all been waiting for, guys, the bird! Mm. Yay. <laughs> ah, yum, 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 yum. It's a little bit hot there. I let it sit for like 15 minutes, so I could actually go in and cut it. I'm going to cut the skin here, and I'm going to try to see if I find the bone, the little um, bone, and I'm going to try to crack it to look hot. There we go. And I'm going to try to use the knife to get in there. Try to find the joint here, and you could just do the same thing with your hands here if you'd like. I cracked it. it, might make it easier for you so that that way you know where the joint is. And voila, you have two pieces the thigh and the leg, and that's always fun. And now we're going to go for the breast. And what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to make an incision all the way down here. There we go, nice and deep. And then we're just going to do little thin slices so that it's ready for you to just serve. Dig in. Don't go on a slant. We're going to do the same thing on that side. I'm cutting in, right, in there deeply, so that when I cut the breast from this angle, it's already off the bone. And we're going to celebrate the wing, and we're going to put it in the middle. And there you have it. You have enough right there to start off dinner. Ta-da! We're done. guys All thank right. you for everything i'm so thank glad that you. you guys are here i well, hope you enjoy it as much us. as i do so cheers. cheers cheers happy thanksgiving guys cheers. i love you and i'm gonna miss you all i'm gonna miss you we hope you have a great time in new york we're gonna miss you all right let's dive in shall we